Hi guys, welcome to Basement Supercar Build, the channel where we see if an average guy like me can design and build his own mid-engine car. This video will be a highlights video of the work that was finished this week. If you want to see the actual work take place, watch the full length video for this week. And with that out of the way, let's get started on this week's video. So I have all the mounting tabs welded on here for this back firewall. You can see them around here. They're spaced somewhat evenly all the way around and using the fixture I made to clamp them into place they should be aligned correctly front to back on this bar and all on the same plane. I'm not sure if you can see those across there or not but uh, while I'm waiting on all that to cool down where I can use it and mount that back panel I want to take the time to assemble this and what I'm doing here is trying to design my own gear shift lever. I had purchased a, a mechanism out of a Volkswagen something and was going to use it but the functionality doesn't work with this transaxle. The, there's a bell crank that mounts on here that translates the side to side movement to a front to back movement and it is working in the reverse direction that I need it to for this transaxle. Now, uh, race car replicas sells, they build and sell their own gear shifter mechanism that they sell with this transaxle, but their assembly is really tall, and I think it's too tall to fit in my car, it's just gonna look awkward, and also, it is a gated shifter, and the I don't like their reverse lockout mechanism. So what I'm doing is I have designed my own parts here. These will be machined out of aluminum solid blocks. And I have designed these pieces on the computer and I 3D printed them. And I'm gonna assemble this just to test fit it and see if I have the correct amount of throws front to back and left to right to access all the gears that I need to. If not, then I'll tweak these files until I get them correct and then we'll machine the actual aluminum pieces on the CNC. But I'm going to go ahead and assemble this and uh, make some modifications to it and see how much throws we have on the gears and try to measure and see if they're correct or not. But uh, let's get started doing that. Okay, I think I have all of the mounts for the firewall put in. And everything screwed into place um, at least for now unless I decide to add another mount or two but I think for now we're good and maybe it'll stay this way I welded in four plates here with a rivet nut on the back side to screw the bottom of this firewall in in four places across there and I have welded eight tabs like this onto the roll bar around the perimeter of the roll bar and fastened the uh, firewall to it that makes it pretty solid it's a little flexible in the center but once the uh, glass piece is inserted and glued in it'll stabilize that and make it strong the only place that i want to stiffen up a little bit more is this bottom i've just got a, i bought a piece of aluminum today i'm going to use these screws and pick up the hole, transfer the holes into this aluminum and bolt this onto here. That'll stabilize the bottom of that. And it'll also give me a place to put some uh, weldments, weld them to this piece to mount things on the back of this wall and even possibly underneath for uh, capturing some hoses or electrical wires or something. But uh, also this is the uh, water fill um, inlet neck for the radiator and two hoses that I found that I, I like that I'm going to use and I'm also going to weld a mount to this uh, aluminum angle that comes up and a place to attach this to somewhere in here uh, leave it st stood off the, the firewall far enough to get your hands in there and undo the cap easily and uh, not sure what that mount's going to look like, but I'll come up with something here after I get this angle mounted. But that'll be in that general location, and then the overflow bottle will be probably down below it in this cavity here somewhere. Um, let's see what else. 
still working on the shifter assembly. I uh, put the first one together, the bottom plate was white, and I measured the throws, and it needed just a little bit more travel front to back, so I put a clearance hole or a channel here around the bottom where the metal was touching before this rubber, this rubber is supposed to be the stop, and clamped it to the table and tested that again tonight, and the throws are really close. I'm within like 20 thousandths or so now, so I'm going to open that up just a tiny bit more, and we'll probably start cutting these pieces on the CNC here in just a couple of days. The metal is ordered for that. It will be here in one or two more days, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take all of that to my CNC guy and get him started on these pieces so we can start working on this shifter and get it in the car. But uh, that's all I have for right now, and I guess we're gonna get to work on uh, mounting this bottom angle on the firewall to stiffen it up and come up with a mount to mount that uh, radiator field neck. So uh, let's get started on those things. I want to show you guys what I'm working on here. Um, I just finished putting this bottom trim piece of aluminum on here. It uh, caps over the edge of the firewall, makes it a nice clean edge. It stiffens up the firewall, makes it a lot more rigid in the center. It was a little bit springy and now it is very rigid. It's really nice. And it gives me a place to weld pieces like this onto. I had to cut and make a piece here for clearance for uh, removing the cap here for the power steering fluid. And I still need to take a, a file or a grinder or something and round these edges and clean them up just a little bit more for just a tiny bit more clearance. But that cap will come out and it looks pretty nice like this. Um, I guess that's gonna be about it for this week. I wanted to show you these things before I ended the video. And I'll see you guys again in one week where we will finish mounting things here on the firewall. We we'll still need to make a mount and mount this uh, radiator filling cap here. And we still have a couple more things to attach back here to the firewall, but we'll be figuring out how we're gonna mount these accessories on this uh, firewall and get some mounts made and things mounted in place. But I'll see you guys again in one week.